Hey guys, I'm Pat Kelly. Okay, in this problem, they've given us the graph of this function. I threw a name on it just so we can refer to it as g of x. But from this graph, what we're supposed to do is identify its parent and also the transformation that would have been used. And then also to write the uh, function that they're giving us algebraically. Okay, so I gotta, be, I gotta make sure I make this clear is this is such a, an important skill. Okay, so really practice these problems. It's a skill that's going to serve you as you move on in mathematics. And the skill is you're looking at a function that you may not have exactly worked with before, but you recognize that it looks something like what you have worked with before. Such a good skill to have. So for instance, I have maybe never worked with that exact function, but what I try to recognize is that looks an awful lot like x cubed should know your basic functions, x cubed is the one that comes down, swooshes over a little bit, and then continues down. So that's the parent that they're looking for in this particular problem. I'll say f of x here. f of x equals x cubed. So again, the idea there is the function that they've given us, that's kind of like the child it should resemble its parent. So you want to try to figure out what function you know that looks like this function that was given to us. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and draw my f of x. I want to suggest you should know, right? It comes down, swooshes over, and then continues. Because with the drawing, that's actually going to help me answer this next thing they wanted me to identify, and that's the transformation. So how is the child different from the parent in this case? So you can see my f of x here, the original one that you should know and be familiar with, that's going to go from where it is and shift it over to the right. In fact, you can even line yourself up real well with that point there. The origin on the original function slides over two units when we get to that g of x function, right? That's the transformation that they want for us in this problem. It's a horizontal shift two units in this case to the right. Okay, so of course different problems are going to vary, but what you're thinking of is what did it take to go from the parent to the child? Shifting it left, right, up, down, reflections, all those transformations that we've been learning. Okay, and then finally, they did ask us to write an equation for this function. So for me, g of x. And I'm going to come up with my answer here by thinking about how the particular transformation that's involved uh, manifests itself in the algebra from the parent function. So the horizontal shift two units to the right. Let me slow down. Any horizontal shift, however many units, actually either left or right, which you want to be thinking for horizontal shift, is that's going to be inside, hugging the argument. So for me, if it was x cubed, I'm going to take x and pair it up with how much of a shift it has before I do the cubing. Cubing will be outside there then. So horizontal shifts are always inside with the argument, inside with the x. Now you have to figure, OK, well, two units is easy enough to realize, well, this is going to be a 2 right there. But then you want to make sure you have either the correct addition or subtraction. Horizontal shifts to the right are actually subtraction. That's part of what you're trying to learn and remember is horizontal shifts to the right are actually subtraction inside. Shifts to the left would be addition. Okay, But that's it for me in this particular problem. The only transformation was that shift to the right, two units. I've represented that with my minus 2 inside. And so this would be my equation for g of x in this problem. Okay. These problems might take quite a bit of thinking, but I'll stress again, it's such a good skill to have, so try to get it down now, all right?